Police came here looking for a murder suspect they believe lived inside this two-family home. Sometime between midnight and 1 a.m., a team of elite officers came armed with a no-knock warrant, intending to break down the door if they had to. Well, one of the officers threw a flashbang grenade into the home designed to startle and disorient those people inside. She had blood coming out of her mouth. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I ain't never seen that like that in my life. The Wayne County prosecutor charged weekly, but after two trials, he was never convicted. You're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV News. Hello, I'm LRJ from LRJ TV News. And I'm LRJ. Well, people, I've been on YouTube for about 10 years. And I remember covering this story about nine years ago. If you guys don't remember the story, here's the recap. Uh, let's go. Seven-year-old Ayanna Jones spent her last night alive watching TV on the couch with her grandmother. They woke to a blinding light, an explosion, and the sound of a single gunshot that killed the child. I knew she was dead. She had blood coming out of her mouth. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I ain't never seen that like that in my life. Police initially said the fatal shot was fired inside the home, an accidental shooting after the grandmother struggled with police. The family's high-profile lawyer says it's a lie, that he's seen video taken by a cameraman who was there, and that it will prove police tried to cover up what really happened. What is it that you see, what is it that you witness that removes any doubt that the shot came from outside of the house? Two things. You witness the gun being fired, the explosive, the muzzle shot, and you hear the shot, and you witness both of those, the muzzle flash and the shot of the, from the gun, immediately after the explosive incendiary grenade is thrown through the plate glass window, and both of them come from the porch. Police came here looking for a murder suspect they believe lived inside this two-family home. Sometime between midnight and 1 a.m., a team of elite officers came armed with a no-knock warrant, intending to break down the door if they had to. Well, one of the officers threw a flashbang grenade into the home designed to startle and disorient those people inside. The family lawyer says that's when the shot was fired. What's really a tragedy is to see that little girl being carried out with one hand like a rag doll. They got her out of that house so fast. There could never have been a confrontation with the grandmother because there's the grenade that goes in, the shot, they walk in the front door and they grab the girl and bring her out within seconds. All these years later, they finally decide to give eight million dollars. Let's not waste no more time. Let's go into the current news. Uh, let's go. After two criminal trials of the police officer who shot Ayanna Stanley Jones that did not result in any sort of a conviction, the civil trial for damages was, was supposed to start next Monday. Well, fast forward, late this afternoon, the decision, there will be no trial, a settlement has been reached with the city. TV cameras rolling the night of May 16th, 2010 on Detroit's east side. The target was the home the Jones family was staying at on Lily Bridge. When police officer Joseph Weekly went into the home gun drawn, he says Ayana's grandmother slapped at his machine gun, which made it fire. The bullet hit seven-year-old Ayana, who was asleep on the living room couch with her grandmother. The Wayne County prosecutor charged Weekly, but after two trials, he was never convicted. Detroit's SRT team was at the house looking for Ayana's father, Charles Jones, in connection with the murder of a 17-year-old boy outside a party store a few days earlier. Eventually, police caught up with her father, arresting and charging him in connection with that murder. He's currently in prison for 40 to 60 years. Jeffrey Feiger has been representing the Jones family and was scheduled to start a civil trial for damages on Monday. Late this afternoon, the decision was reached to settle for $8.25 million. The city's top attorney, Lawrence Garcia, saying, Ayanna's death was a tragic loss for her family and has been a heavy burden on our community. We believe today's settlement is fair because it balances the needs of Ayana's family and our responsibility for the city's finances. We hope this resolution will provide everyone involved a measure of closure. This is a tragedy of unspeakable magnitude to Ayana's parents, her family, and all those who loved her, and quite frankly to the city of Detroit. 
Again, our deepest and most heartfelt condolences go out to the family. As for Officer Weekly, he returned to active duty with the DPD in 2015. We are live downtown tonight. Amara McDonald, back to you. Well, people, there you have it. Yeah. With that being said, oh yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe. Why? Because you be glad you did. And guess what? Guess what? I love you all. Peace.